What up, y'all? Today was one of those days when what I'm about to do is the last thing in the world I wanted to be doing. Three hours of sleep, so this 270-pound deadlift at this moment is feeling heavy as shit. But, you know what? I gotta get it in, even if it's a struggle some days. So, I did get nine reps here at 270. This is my three-plus set on a Windler 531 deadlift and back workout. Um, note, uh... I did go pretty hard, even though I'm complaining about being tired and all that kind of stuff. That tends to be something I do. Uh, I use weights as therapy, and sometimes I can be a little bit stronger when I'm disadvantaged. Uh, probably not on a max effort, but definitely when it comes to getting reps, I'm more likely to go for extra reps when I feel bad than when I feel good. Um, as far as for y'all, you know, if that's not your personality, I'd go the other way around because uh, maybe not the best idea to push yourself real hard when you feel like shit. You know, honestly, maybe it's better to go in there and listen to your nerves, kind of like take the weight down a couple notches and tone up. But no, not me. I can't roll that way. I'm not capable of it. So I went in there and went a little too hard here on these deadlifts, uh, considering the circumstances. Um, what I would say is there's certain things your mind will play tricks on you when you're trying to get a workout in and you don't feel like it you know and consistency is ultimately what gives you the results it doesn't really matter how hard you go or whatever else as long as you pretty much go in here and add more weight to the bar over time and you continue to lift weights uh, you're going to have great progress one of these days no matter what um, the thing is is that some people will get so focused on the perfect that they don't even wind up going like I can't do it as long as I wanted to so I can't get every exercise I want so I shouldn't go or you know whatever else also sometimes you know, just thinking about <clears throat> and dreading and over analyzing the workout is a, a bad idea when if you're you know, if you feel uh unmotivated, maybe you should just think about it as little as you possibly can, you know, even while you're doing it. You know, trying to get your mind off of it while you're doing it to the extent you know, you don't want to do that with heavy, super maximal weights because it's dangerous. But if you got some weights that you can control, get your mind off of it and just use the gym, you know, as an opportunity to kinda uh, you know, think things through your life through, you know, but I wouldn't recommend doing that on a good day. If you come in there and you're feeling strong and it's time to start getting focused on how much weight can you put on that bar and let's, you know, let's see what the possibilities are. Another thing that I recommend is when you're, you know, unmotivated and tired and other, other factors are interfering, uh, don't allow yourself to think about any future work sets during your current, uh, work like if you're working on this like say I'm doing my rows right now these little isolating rows uh, I'm not allowed to be thinking right now about these upcoming isolateral rows that I'm fixing to be doing right now because if I was I would you know I mean I can't allow my nerves to sit there and analyze how much you know total weight they're going to do the whole workout's going to make me weaker because my mind is going to start trying to lower the weights to you know reach this future volume and ultimately I think it's just easier to focus on what you have to do right now and then just realize that here in a minute the workout will be over <laughs> one of these pretty soon I mean workouts don't last that long and uh, then you can get it in uh, not pictured by the way where a set of lat pull downs little technical difficulties there but yeah um, that's what I, the main point of the whole gym is consistency you stay in there you'll get the results like comment and subscribe peace Oh. <clears throat>